Okay, so looking at the Metler AE200 precision balance, going down to four decimal places. And I'm just going to show you some of the features and how to run the inbuilt calibration feature, which is really, really useful. So we've got our three buttons to control the balance, the re-zero or tear button to set the display to zero, the mode button, which we'll come on to in a minute, that's in the center. And then the right hand side, you've got the on off button and you press it down to turn the button, uh, to turn the balance or the display on and you lift it up to turn the display off. So when we turn it on, it takes a few minutes to stabilize and then uh, it may display that it needs a calibration. So we're going to run that calibration now. Before we do the calibration, we need to make sure that the internal bullseye displays that the balance is on a level surface and it absolutely needs to be on a rock solid stable surface. Otherwise vibrations from um, environmental causes can make the display fluctuate and that can have a surprisingly significant effect on whether or not it's able to get a stable reading. So I'm going to hold down the mode button until calibration comes up and this allows us to cycle through the different options that are available. So you hold it down and then release when it comes up and says cal and what it's now going to do is take an environmental reading before it starts and that can take up to two to three minutes in some cases and now it's requesting the 100 gram uh, weight so I'm going to take the calibration lever on the right hand side and slide it from the forward position to the rear position and now it's going to take that 100 gram calibration reading And the same again, it will take up to several minutes to stabilize. And then what you should see is that it's taken that reading and it's given a uh, hundred gram exactly value. And then it's gonna request the zero gram calibration. So again, I'm gonna slide the lever into the position at the front of the balance towards me and allow it to take its zero gram calibration. And then it will pop up nicely with 0 0.000 grams. Fantastic. Now in the mode setting, there are a couple of other options. You've got your calibration, your integration setting, and this determines over what duration of time is it taking an average of the readings. So a higher integration will make it appear more stable as it takes uh, more time to reach the reading. A lower setting will allow it to reach a reading more quickly, but it will fluctuate more quickly as well if there are environmental fluctuations or even if you've got something that's evaporating on the surface of the balance. And then the final option is the um, stability. And this determines how long it will wait to, uh, or, or how sensitive it is to environmental vibrations, how, um, resistant it is to giving you a, a stable zero reading after you press zero. So um, both of these usually you would keep set on the, the middle setting unless you were in a particularly um, noisy environment where there were a lot of vibrations or you had a, a particularly stable kind of anti-vibration desk. Um, I think that's everything. I will just show you the parts that we've been looking at. So you can see here the zero mode and the on off. And then the lever on the side here. So when it's backwards, it's in the 100 gram position. And when it's forwards, it's locked out of the um, mechanism and it's somewhat protected 
from damage as well in that position so you should always keep it in the forward position when it's in storage. Fantastic, what a great balance.